Well, I'll start from when it first happened, and that was a couple of years ago in the month of August. We had a lot of frost, and I was going to the car, and I slipped on a patch of ice and went down on my elbow and my shoulder. And I thought my shoulder was going to pop out of my body. Over a period of time, I had physiotherapy, seemed to work, but then sometime later, I did another injury to my shoulder. I, I had it yanked backwards. I'd been to the doctor and continued physio, and I'd had an X-ray and a scan, which showed there was tearing. And it got to the point where it really affected my daily life. Um, I couldn't spread bread without having a lot of pain. And there was lots of things that I, I couldn't do, especially looking after myself to wash my hair. I had to bend in half and just wash my hair with my hand hanging down. I asked the, uh, the physio, I said, I can't continue with this pain. I'd like a referral um, to a specialist. He sent me for an MRI. He said, you've got a, a massive tear in that shoulder that can't be repaired but I, I can do a replacement for you, but it would have to be a reverse shoulder replacement because they can only work with the muscles and the tendons and the soft tissue that is going to work. So <clears throat> he was going to reverse the ball and socket joint and that would be screwed into my scapula, my shoulder, shoulder blade. And it, it would mean that I, I didn't have pain, but I would not be able to hold my arm up any more than that. And going backwards, I wouldn't be able to do that. But um, I wasn't looking forward to that at all because I knew it was a long recovery. But um, after lockdown last year, I was in such a bad state. Um, I, I couldn't drive the car above a kilometre without really groaning and um, finding it very difficult. Living with pain, I found um, really made me feel down and the future looked very dismal. I, I just couldn't imagine living with this pain for the rest of my life. And one of the things that I found hurt me was the fact that I couldn't put my arms around my grandchildren, only one arm. And it might seem a simple thing to you, but um, to really hug someone close, I miss that. Um, my husband's had a stroke, so I look after him as well. And there were times when I couldn't cut his food up and I was beginning to think, you know, what a life to lead. So instead of not looking forward to some serious surgery, I was waiting for it because I wanted to get rid of the pain. And I still didn't, didn't give up on praying, but for me, I know that God always hears our prayer. It's just so wonderful, just so wonderful. I, my family had been praying for me, my husband and my church. And one morning I, I got up and my husband said, we haven't prayed for your shoulder this morning. I said, no. I haven't got any pain. And without thinking, I reached up into a top cupboard to get a milk jug and I could do it with no pain without, this is how I had to do it before and lower it down. And I did it again because I couldn't believe I could just put my arm up, it's impossible. And then I realized what had happened. The Lord had healed my shoulder. And I was just lost for words. I was just, lost for words and I was just so happy and grateful that he'd done this thing for me. So I rang up the surgeon's office and I said, um, it's Sally, I've, there's some, been some developments with my shoulder. And she said, oh no, meaning oh, what else has gone wrong? And I said, Jesus has taken my pain away and I've got full range of movement in my shoulder. She sort of laughed and she said, oh, Sally, I'm so pleased for you. And that was it. It was just wonderful. Whoever I met, 
Um, I was stopping people in the street who I know, telling them about how the Lord had healed my shoulder. And I think the biggest impact was the place where I worked at the hospital, because over the two years, all my colleagues knew about my injury and they were very good, so helpful and kind and doing things that perhaps I, I should have done. So when I went to work and I told them, wow, what a wonderful thing to be able to do. It was unquestionable, it's been a healing. God has healed my shoulder. And it's been an, a lovely opportunity for me to share this good news. If you've got good news, you want to share it, don't you?